back in 1990, Onita goes to Puerto Rico, and he uh, is uh, going to wrestle Invader in Japan, where I think he's going to beat uh, Invader. And they reenact the stabbing. But yes. This time in storyline. Do you remember hearing about that at the time? Do you remember seeing no, that roughly? I heard about it. Uh, I heard Sean, about it. Sean, do you know about this as well? I, I, I've heard about this. I haven't seen it, but that, that just, I, I mean, even as you're recounting, and I've heard this before, it just makes your heart go like, what is going on yep. here? I mean, that is just a whole other level of uh, inappropriateness. And just like, how do you, uh, I, yeah, I can't even wrap my brain around that at all. <laughs> It was bullshit. Yeah. I mean, Onita was, he was an outlier in the wrestling business too. Started his own company over there and it was just wild and it was just all kind of gimmicks. And, but Onita well, was, he, and, and it was, it was a, a su successful company, but very, very bad taste. Yeah. I mean, um, a man loses his life, but yet you're going to go down and reenact that invader stabs him just to draw a house in Japan. I, I don't James, get it. Just, just knowing how this, you know, knowing Barbara um, and, you know, and there, there's a real family connected to this. And when you hear those kind of things, it just makes you go, this is not what this is supposed to be. This is not the right spirit at all. This is, this seems, it seems exploitive. Again, I've not seen it, so I don't want to be overly judgmental, but at, at you know, surface, it, it seems like a, a very inappropriate move. I'm looking at the photo of it right now. So even I can't show the photo, uh, but uh, I'll show it on screen afterwards. I'll edit it in if I can. But uh, if you looked at it, you think, hmm, that is as inappropriate as it gets. And when you you two were talking about Invader being a good guy, and that's probably why he got away with the crime in the first place. I mean, I'm, I don't know. Maybe even the fans probably cheered him when this happened, or he was still seen as the good guy, now stabbing a second bad guy. In the in the space of less than two years, can I say ahead, something hit. about that, James? Oh, go go ahead. Go ahead. Gosh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I just want to make one thing clear: something that is understood, and again, it speaks to the complexity of why everything went down like it did, and what we could call is the potential for lack of justice, is the fact that you know Invader or Jose Gonzalez, you know, was perceived as a pillar of the community in Puerto Rico, um, in the sense that he was beloved and he was a star and he was the hero and he was a good guy so again the behind the scenes of reality may or may not be very different but you know when you have the the sort of court of public opinion um on, you know kind of perceiving this in one way and we go back to what we were saying that you know well bruiser is a wild guy he is he is a bad guy i mean he probably was ready to you know with his teeth you know gnashing ready to draw blood and stuff and so you know so it does get very you know kind of interesting in that way um but that's just just to give some context i think it's important to to say that that the setting and the community that invader was immersed in you know there was a perception of him uh and it is what it is Dutch. yep I, I have nothing to add it but i came to that conclusion years and years ago that the wrestling jury i mean the jury was made up of wrestling fans because you pick a jury and I don't know what the questions they asked them, but I guess one of them, do you watch wrestling? And of course the defense wanted people who watch wrestling because Brody was a wild man. That was his gimmick. That was his whole deal. And people would run from him. So quite naturally, if the fans were scared of him, It'd be quiet. That was that was in, in Vader's defense that he acted in self defense, which I've learned later that I've come to a different conclusion on it when I figured all this stuff in. And when I came to that conclusion that maybe he intended more than just a confrontation, then it dawned on me that yeah, that could possibly be true. I'm not saying that that is true, but I'm saying. I don't know. It, it was just things that all came together at one spot at one time in a little place on the earth, Puerto Rico. And I think it shattered a lot of lives. And I don't know. It was, I wish I, I, I wished a million times I'd never really, I had never happened. And then I wished a million times I hadn't even, even been there.
Yeah. So it's a hard thing. You know, you hear about things that, you know, you can't get it out of your head. You just can't leave it. And that's one thing that I cannot leave is seeing Brody laying on the floor and that going on. And it's, it's the old saying, it's something you can't unsee. And every time I, every time I talk about it or think about it, that's what I see. And I wish I didn't see that. <laughs>